Hey y'all, I know it has been so long, but I am back. Today, I am going to give y'all a little tour of my vanity. I got a new vanity, which I've been needing for years. Um, I don't know, like I just got this vanity from Target. I thought it was so cute. It's kind of modern, but chic as well. And I thought it was super cute. So my brother set it up for me. He was being nice. And um, I just got some stuff from like Home Goods to set my brushes and pencils and utensils that I need. Um, I like decorated a little bit with some items from Hobby Lobby. And so I'll just give y'all a tour and show you guys what products, items, tools that I use, some of my favorite brands, some of my favorite products. Um, I'll just show you guys what's in my vanity. Why not? First, I'm going to give you a little bit of a panoramic view. So you'll see, although I'm talking to you and I'll show you guys some items, you'll be able to see actually what's in the vanity. These, these are so cute. I got these from Home Goods. These little things. These are my pencils in, my makeup removers, my mirrors. I got this mirror for Christmas. I'll put my brushes in this. I got this from Home Goods as well. These were like six dollars. These this is for for like five dollars. Got some creams. So this is a flip top, which my brother put this together and it's a little rigged. So I'm I don't even place it down. I just leave it here like this. And I have some eyeshadow palettes in here, some singleton shadows and then my foundations back here these are eyeshadows and then these are my setting sprays and this little wheelie thing was like 12.99 from home goods which is quite expensive to be honest and i saw somewhere where there was like pearls people put like pearls in here so i bought these from hobby lobby they were really expensive too they were like 6.99 a pack and i just have some oils and stuff like that in there and we'll open up my drawers. I'll show you this stuff. And this is another drawer. There's some stuff in there as well. So we'll do a little tour and I'll show you guys what I have in my vanity. So first up, I got these. The sticker's still on them, y'all. Can you see? $6.99. I got these um, things from Home Goods, And I thought it would be perfect to put like my pencils. And I have like some little hair store concealers and stuff like that in there. Um, right now I've been using Morphe for my eyebrow utensils or whatever, which this is super cute. You guys know I don't really even have brows, so I just fill in a little bit. This is just like eyeliners, mascaras in here. Again, these are $6.99 from Home Goods. And I don't know what look I was going for. I think for just like a, like a chic rustic look, if you can see like my bedspread in the back. So you can see that's just like a really, really um, monotone, neutral tone. So that's what I was going for. So what's next is just like my makeup toners. Um, I don't really use this too much cause my skin is really sensitive, like my facial skin. So I don't use that too much on my skin, but what I do love it for is like if I'm doing my makeup and um, I get like mascara on my eyeshadow and I can just get a little Q-tip, put a little toner or makeup remover on there and just, you know, get it off of there really quick. So then I have my mirrors. Right now I don't feel like picking up my other makeup mirror, but in the view you should be able to see um which one i'm talking about but sometimes i just like to be able to just be like up close and really be able to see so that's why i have the second mirror here um next i have this makeup holder and oh i actually took the sticker off of this one i don't know this one might have been like 7.99 maybe like 8.99 9.99 I don't know but it wasn't too much and these are just my brushes um I put my little pencil in here so this is like my lip liner eyebrow um 
or eyeliner pencil that I sharpen it with. And then, y'all, so I've been using this. I've been seeing this all over TikTok. It's the NYX Marshmallow Primer. So I used it today, and I've been using it, like, the last few weeks, probably. It works really good. Another one of my favorite primers is... So another one of my favorite primers is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So I have, my pores are like humongous. Like my elasticity in my face is really lacking. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. So I always have to use a primer that's really going to shrink the pores, going to try to cover the pores. That's just my thing that I have to keep up with. So yeah, this is my brush holder. Then, I'm sure you guys saw that I have just some moisturizers. So I got these palettes, and I'll show you guys from Tarte. They were like two for 40, or like two for something another. It might have even been like two for 35 the other day. And then you guys know with Tarte or Too Faced or whoever, they normally come with like just a little cute surprise gift, um, free. So this is a moisturizer or eye treatment, which I haven't even used yet, but that's just laying there. And then this um face moisturizer this is by belief can you see can you see can you see and it is called the true cream aqua bomb so i came across this on Aaliyah's face is channel and my thing about the youtube girls is that you know i take their word for things and that product is amazing um i actually bought it in a travel kit first and then i went back when i got my christmas cards and gift cards and all of that and got one of my own but this is not even the biggest one this one is the 0 0.84 fluid ounces and this was 22 dollars the largest one is actually like 38 dollars which i didn't buy just because i'm one of the type of people who holds on to something for like years it takes me like years to finish a product so i knew i would be wasting my time by even getting the the larger one in my money so i started off with the smaller one first and i like it but i haven't even touched that one yet because i've been using the travel kit one so this right here y'all so i follow this guy i've been following him for years his name is solomon ray but his um social media or whatever i follow him on instagram and snapchat it's Solomon Ray music. So he's kind of like an influencer, but he's an artist as well, but he's also an entrepreneur. So he has like a skincare line and it's called Soul Ray Beauty. I hope you guys can see Soul Ray Beauty. This is his, I don't know what this word is, ni niacinamide brightening cream. Okay. And so with lupus if you've never been to my channel i have lupus um i have a lot of scars body rashes hyperpigmentation everywhere so i bought like this holiday kit which in reality the holiday kit normal price would be like 155 or like 135 or something that it was and i got this for like 55 dollars. not this but like i got the whole kit for 55 dollars and I'll show you guys some other stuff from him as well. Um, this is the eye brightening cream. So this one is just brightening cream in general. So you can just use this like all over the skin. And then this is the eye brightening cream. So let me tell you about this product. I use this because I'm olive toned, whatever. I use this because of the fact that although I do not have a mustache, my hair follicles are super dark so i actually use this not only under the eye and there's so much sunlight not only under the eye but i use it going across like my mustache you know to brighten that also it came with a collagen serum which right now i'm focusing on just like healing the elasticity in my cheek area because right now 
I'm out here looking like I'm 50. The elasticity is drooping. It's just not. It's, it's doing me real bad. Real, real bad. So, I got those products again from his, like, Christmas holiday kit sale. And it was literally, like, gosh. I'm going to put details down for sure, for sure, because I don't want to be wrong. But it was literally, like, maybe $55 for all of those items. And I got something for free. Wait a minute, y'all, because I just thought about the fact that I got something for free, but I don't... Oh, this came for free, actually. The other products I got was um, the facial cleanser, but my sister has used all of it, so I can't show you guys that. But when I tag the item below, you guys should be able to get the link that goes straight to his website, and you'll see all of that. So I feel like I'm rambling. What else do we have? So... We'll go in my drawer. So I have this little thing, which y'all, I really didn't need it, but it was only like $5.99, $4.99. I thought it would be cute to keep my container, like my, um, I thought it would be a cute container to keep some of like my tools that I use. So you can see here, I got these off of Amazon. And all the TikTok girlies told me about this. This is like, so you put it here. I thought it was so cute. Is it called like a buffer, like a powder buffer? So you put it here. And then of course, when you're like baking, you're putting your powder on, you just use it like this. I thought this was the best, like the best idea anybody could have came up with. Then I just have, um, I still am old school. When it comes to concealer, I use like the little back in the day sponge wedges and sometimes I switch it up. Sometimes I put my foundation on with beauty blenders. Sometimes I use my brushes. It just depends. But this right here, these little pads from Ulta, I love. So again, I don't do too much with the makeup removing off of my actual face. I just use soap and water or cleanser and water for that. But when it comes to me removing my eye makeup, these right here are the best. So usually I will remove eye makeup first, eyebrows first, before getting in the shower. And um, I just use those, those are amazing. I'll try to tag that product as well. Cause I have like a huge bag of it. This is my makeup remover brush tool thing which i've used like twice so everyone had to have this on tiktok this went viral this is the juvia's blushed rouge in volume four so i think it's a dupe of like a dior blush and i like it it's um it just puts me like in a mood of just like a, a really really um prim proper day so maybe like if you're going to brunch and it's like florals or like you know it, it just puts you in a tone if, if you're having like a little bit more of a bougie aesthetic type of day and i've worn it a few times i like it i just got it for christmas so i didn't um i haven't had the chance to wear it a lot but i like it it's cool okay y'all so next i will show you guys my eyeshadow palette so I got these from Tarte for like two for 40 something or like 30 something dollars. They're really nice. They're just like, they're kind of neutral, but there's a few cute like pinky shades as well, which I absolutely love. I'm a rose gold girl. I'm a very, um, I'm not like too extravagant with the eyeshadow. Sometimes I'll bring in like the darker shades if I'm wearing black. And then this is just something that's just like a little darker with the shades. Um, but they were on the sale, like a Christmas or New Year's sale. They were like two for something. I also got the new Morphe palette in lavender. And if you know me, lavender lilac, that's like my color. That's the lupus color. Um, I'll open it up, y'all is super cute which i hadn't even heard anything about this me and my sister were go were at ulta just shopping after christmas and she was like what is this and i was like oh i gotta have that so um yeah the color 
colors are so nice. I love this. This is nice. And then I'm still using, so when I got my vanity, I cleaned up a little bit and threw out a lot of stuff that I didn't use. And my rule was like, if I hadn't used it um, within a year, then it needed to go. So there were a few like Milani palettes that I bought like years ago that I threw out. Um, but some of these are just like original things that I still use. So this is the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe which I still very much use. I always pretty much will use like a lot of these neutral tones as like my basic um, eyeshadow. So yeah, I still use that. I still love the Sweet Peach um, palette. Super cute, super cute. So I still use all of this stuff that, again, like the Jaclyn Hill I've had for a few years and I've had the Sweet Peach for a few years. And I'm not really that girl that's, like, all into the makeup expiring and stuff like that. Like, maybe it is good for me. But, um, whatever. I use it. Nothing's happened to me. Nothing worse than probably I've already been through. So, it don't even matter. My foundation. Born This Way. So, I actually don't have Born This Way on today. I just did my makeup with the Juvia's Place foundation sticks. Um... But I love Born This Way, but y'all, I am looking for a foundation that's like a little bit more high-end, a little bit more full coverage. So if you have some suggestions, you have some reference, you know, some referrals, just let me know down below. I've heard of like NARS, I've heard of Lancome, I've heard of Charlotte Tillsbury, a lot of different foundations, but my thing is that I very rarely go out shopping like without makeup on, without a beat on. So I feel like if I'm going to go into Ulta or Sephora to like shade match or whatever it's called, then I need to have like a bare face, which is hard for me. Like I'm not just going to go shopping with a bare face. So that's my dilemma. That's why I don't really... I just haven't done that yet, but in my spare time, I think I'm just going to go to maybe Ulta and see if somebody can work with me on getting a more like high-end um, foundation. So also, some more of my favorite items are setting sprays. I love this particular setting spray. And then my friend, um, who is actually a professional makeup artist, she recommends this and so I decided to get this and try this and I've been wearing this like the last few weeks as well. So normally what I'll do is I'll spray this um, underneath like as my base of foundation and then I'll spray this to top off my makeup like when I'm done with everything. And so far so good. I like it. I like it. I got that from Target. It was maybe like... Oh, I don't know. There were two sizes. One was like nine. The other one was like 14, I think. So I'll, I'll tag everything, y'all. I'll tag everything down below so you can get you some Make It Last setting spray as well. So I should have showed you guys this while we were doing more of the facial creams and skincare because I was telling you about this travel kit that I got from Belief because, again, I told y'all I was a frugal girl and, um... So when Aaliyah's face first recommended or when I came across her video where she recommended the Belief products, um, I saw like this travel kit. And so it came with the Aqua Balm Jelly Cleanser. Can you see this? And then it came with the Aqua Balm Sunscreen. This is actually the Aqua Balm um, Travel Kit size um facial cream or moisturizer and then this is like an under eye cream so I got like all of this maybe for like $22 or something um like months ago I started off with that so I'm still kind of using those items before I open up the other uh, moisturizing cream also I saw this all over the place the black girl sunscreen so again, I have lupus if you don't know. 
So those of us who have lupus, we pretty much are allergic to the sun. Like we have sun sensitivity. So not only does it affect us on the outside as far as our skin, but also um, it will cause an internal flare. So I've been using this. Um, I don't go out much. I work from home. I don't be outside a lot, but I've been using it. It seems to work well. I don't have breakouts. I, I don't see any like difference in my skin. So I'm just going to keep using it for protection. It's SPF 30, which is really, really good. Um, so I have that as well. I'm using that. This is just an item that I, I love. Um, so it's winter time and you know, sometimes your lips are chapped. Sometimes you're a little crusty and a little dry around the nose around wherever also i have dermatitis autoimmune stuff so i like to just stay moisturized so a lot of times i'll put a little bit of this oil up in my eyebrows i don't have no eyebrows i lost my eyebrows years ago dealing with chemo and everything like that but i have dermatitis in my eyebrows around my nose um which if you don't know dermatitis is like a dermal psoriasis if that makes sense so for some reason it's called dermatitis it comes up in my scalp it comes up in my eyebrows comes up around my mo my nose and i got that from my mom thanks mom it's definitely hereditary so i have that and then i forgot to show you guys that this was the toner the aquavon toner that came in the travel kit as well i just came across this so what else what else do i have i just have some little facial tools this is it a gua sha i haven't used this in a while i probably should just to help with the extra neckage let's see what else we have in here just my razors my everyday use stuff um i do love these so i'll show you guys these these are like bamboo makeup uh cloths I got these from Amazon. I'll try to link these below as well. But they last so long. I've had these at least two to three years. And you can just wash them. Just like you wash. Just like you, you know, run a cycle on washcloths or towels. And they work so well. I love them, y'all. Highly recommend it. Okay, guys. I'm almost down. I'm almost down to the very end. So this other little drawer here, I have... Um, I just have some essentials. I have my powders. I usually use Airspun, which I don't bake very much. It's really just not my thing that I feel like I have to do. It's not an essential to do in my makeup. But I bought it just to buy it, just to say I did. And then I have this Lock It Loose powder. It's by, what's her name? Is it Anastasia? No, oh my goodness, not by Anastasia. It's by Kat Von D and it's a loose powder. And I got this years ago as like a free gift, a free birthday gift from Sephora. And I I love it, actually. It's really, really nice. I don't bake again really at all, but I've used this a few times and it's nice. It's really translucent. It doesn't leave a flash. It It's really, really nice. I would recommend that. Now, my lashes. I don't have lashes on today. I'm going natural today. But I use Pearl Lash Beauty Lashes, and I'll tag her. I found her on Instagram maybe like a year or two ago. Um, she's a nice person. Like, I've talked to her personally just about things, reached out to her about stuff. And she's really, really down to earth and nice. Um, I think I came across her on an influencer's page, Yvette, if you guys know. She's a Mexican social media makeup influencer, lifestyle influencer. I remember to this day, the eyelash uh, style was called Sugar Boo, and it's my favorite by Pearl Lash Beauty. Um, it's always out, so I barely get to, you know, buy that style, but Sugar Boo by Pearl Lash Beauty is, is bomb. And then I have my lash glue, of course. I wear, I use hair glue, yes I do. Mm -hmm. And then I have my lipsticks. So this is my MAC 
the next step. Again, this is my Mac and etc. case, so I have those shades in there. Um, I also have Morphe in here, NARS, just some different shades. Um, if I ain't broke it, and then I have my NYX case, so I have some NYX shades and some NYX liners in there. I haven't really made it to to that budget where I'm buying MAC liners, but um, actually a few months ago, I came across a really, really good Ulta deal where they were like 50% off. The um, MAC shades were 1050, which is really, really good. So I bought maybe like four of them, maybe four or five of them. I splurged a little bit, but I deserve it. And then I have two Fenty Beauty um, shades. Of course, listening to social media influencers, I bought the Fenty Glow because it was highly recommended. And then I bought the Sweet Mouth because that was highly recommended. And um, I have some Kylie lipsticks, some, um, some more NYX lingerie shades, just a few little different things, y'all. Um, I don't do too much. I normally do just, I just do like normally like a natural beat most sometimes if it's my birthday or something special, I'll do like a natural glam, but nothing too much, nothing too much at all. So that was my vanity tour slash what's in my vanity slash my favorite products uh, tools that I use. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I promised you guys every time that I get on here and say that I'm going to be more consistent, but I'm going to be more consistent in 2023. And this is my first video of the year. So I hope you guys, um, like this video, um, subscribe to my channel, share this video, and I'll be back with more. Bye.